You may not have heard of Bryant Boats, but those who have have probably heard good things. It's a company with a reputation for building top quality boats and being very customer service oriented. So this week on Power Profile, we're going to look at a Bryant 23 Calandra, and like all Bryant boats, they're hand built and 100% wood free. Inside and out, this is a great looking day boat. From bow to stern, it's just over 23 feet and has everything you'd expect in a bow rider. And some surprises too. What jumped out to me was the hideaway head on the port side. Makes a full day out on the water a little more civilized. Though the placement of the stereo controls in here is something I might change. But if that's the biggest complaint, life is good. Civilized and comfortable, what with ample seating and a maximum capacity of 13. Speaking of which, the seats on the transom are another cool and very useful feature that slide from upright to reclined and then down to make a large sun pad when both are fully reclined. The port side bench also transitioned from rear to forward facing and when forward facing, the passenger gets to enjoy a bolstered seat. The captain's seat too has a bolster and even though it looks like a static bench, it is adjustable as is the steering wheel so everyone can find the right feel. Access to the underseat storage at the bow is aided by hydraulic hinges. This is a well thought out boat with little details like tabs to secure the anchor in place instead of just bouncing around. Cup holders and a glove box integrated between otherwise unused space between seats and the battery compartment tucked away under the walkthrough portside transom for easy access. And in terms of easy access to the engine, they've thought of that too. With the press of a switch, the rear seats lift up to reveal the engine compartment and the V8 Mercruiser 350 Mag MPI with a Bravo 3 drive, which pumps out plenty of power for a boat this size and weight. Referred to as both the forward hull design and the quick plane design, Bryant puts its fuel tank in the bow of every one of their boats. That allows a little bit more weight in the front to allow you pop up on plane. You'll be at 20 miles per hour in under 8 seconds and hit 30 miles per hour in just under 10 where it cruises very comfortably. Sometimes you have a boat that's got the guts to go fast but not the design to handle well. The Calandra is no either or scenario. When you fire the wheel one way or the other, the boat responds quickly, banking nicely into the turns, biting the water and holding speed even as it cuts through the waves. And it's well designed, so turns like that one-handed, not a problem. It's very comfortable, but it's also very fast. Not that you want to run full throttle all the time, but when you do, you're going to get home in a hurry. And when we pushed it full throttle and played with the trim, we got this big comfy Bryant to 50 miles per hour. Even at those speeds, I'd happily refer to it as a smooth ride. This is a great boat. Plenty of luxury, lots of comfort if that's what you're looking for, but all the fun and performance for when your kids come and visit. And with a boat like this, they'll have no excuse not to.